guys, Jason Abelson from Boxcaster. How you guys doing? You know, with that release of that Creed 2 trailer the other day, we turned into a bunch of salivating dogs here. We cannot wait for this movie to come out. So we thought to ourselves, what can we do for you guys to kind of celebrate the release of this trailer? And we took a poll around the office. We came up with the 10 best boxing movies of all times. And you might agree, you might disagree, but there's no doubt that these 10 are pretty damn good. At number 10, Million Dollar Baby, directed and starring Clint Eastwood, and of course, Hilary Swank, won a ton of Academy Awards. Terrific movie, great acting, great directing, great writing. The boxing scene, they're a little lifty. Has anyone really been paralyzed by a boxing stool? Eh. But that aside, you can't argue with the end result. It is a terrific movie. And number 10 on our list of the best boxing movies ever. I can't get inside. I can't get close enough to hear them. You know why that is? Why? She's a better fighter than you are, that's why. She's younger, she's stronger, and she's more experienced. Now, what are you gonna do about it? Number nine is Digstown. Digstown? What the hell is that, Jason? It's a great movie. Early 90s, it's a boxing movie, it's got a gambling movie, it's a scheming movie, all set around this small town with a little boxing scene around it and a wager that spirals out of control and the characters that are caught in the eye of the storm. It stars James Woods, Luke Gossett Jr., Bruce Dern. Check it out. Well worth your time. <laughs> we're bad. We're very bad. Well, at least we're safe. <laughs> I am. Good luck. Number eight, Daniel Day-Lewis in The Boxer. Do I need to say anything more than Daniel Day-Lewis in? And this is a typical Daniel Day-Lewis movie. A phenomenal pick that he really spurns on because he's just the best actor in the goddamn world. Playing a fighter, obviously, who's dealing with his sectarian past. He was a member of the IRA and convicted for a crime and did not fib on his cohorts. He's trying to open up and change his life. And he tries to open a gym that's open to both Protestants and Catholics. Does he succeed? Check it out and check out the struggles he has dealing with what he wants to become and what he once was a fabulous flick at number eight. My feelings were locked up inside of me. And when I got in the ring again, you can't imagine the relief it was to feel the pain. Coming in at number seven, 1956's The Harder They Fall, starring Humphrey Bogart. This movie was long considered the standard bearer when it comes to boxing movies. It portrays Bogart, who becomes a publicist for a really seedy promoter, and the lies that are told to fighters in the industry and the brutal truth that everybody in the boxing world has to deal with. It is a must see. Yeah, it may be a little hokey nowadays, but it is a terrific film study and study of an industry in boxing that has changed for the better over the years. It's an important job that calls for an important man that pays important money, and I think you're important. Interested? Well, I didn't come here to work out. At number six is The Fighter, of course, starring Marky Mark Wahlberg. He plays Irish Mickey Ward, and it's not only Wahlberg who's so good in this movie. Of course, Christian Bale won an Academy Award for his portrayal of Mickey Ward's half-brother, Dickie Eklund, a phenomenal movie, and if you remember the Mickey Ward fights from the 90s and early 2000s, this is the movie you're going to absolutely want to see again and again and again. Great acting, great directing, and a great boxing movie. I'm his blood. I'm his family. The I'm the one fighting, okay? Not you, not you, and not you. I know what I need. And you need Dickie? I want Dickie back. Ooh, the top five is getting good. At number five, Cinderella Man, the true-to-life story of James J. Braddock, one of the most unlikely heavyweight champions ever, portrayed by, of course, Russell Crowe. The setting was the Depression. James J. Braddock comes out of nowhere. He's a day laborer. He rises through the ranks improbably to score one of the biggest upsets in boxing history when he upsets the crown prince, Max Baer, to become heavyweight champion of the world. An absolute great study in the magic of movie making and the magic of boxing. An unbelievable movie. You hear me? You gotta get in there. You get in there and you hit him and you keep hitting him until you break his nose. You fill his face with blood. Beat him from the inside out, Jim. From the inside out. 
At number four, it's another biopic, this time the not so happy story of The Hurricane. Ruben the Hurricane Carter as betrayed by Denzel Washington and directed expertly by Norman Jewison. The story of the leading middleweight contender who's wrongfully convicted of a triple homicide in 1966 and served nearly 20 years in jail. A tragic story to be sure, but an absolutely beautiful portrayal of injustices on a very basic human level that can be overcome by great men and only a great man like Reuben Hurricane Carter. A terrific movie and a great study in a whole myriad of issues that affect us even to this day. My job was to take all the hatred and skill that I could muster and send a man to his destruction. And I did that. But Reuben Hurricane Carter is no murderer. At number three, and it's getting down to the nitty gritty folks, oh, these movies are good. It's the reason we're here. Well, it's one of the seven reasons we're here. It is Creed, starring, of course, Michael B. Jordan and the great Sylvester Stallone. And it reminded us when it was released a few years ago just how great the Rocky saga is. We see Adonis Creed, the son of Apollo Creed, who, of course, was the man who defeated Rocky in the original, and his coming of age, and him wanting to follow in his father's footsteps. And to do that, he had to track down the man who made his father, or helped make his father. That, of course, is Rocky Balboa. In it, we've seen great performances, obviously by Jordan, and Sylvester Stallone hitting his acting pocket, portraying a Rocky Balboa who has seen the world both through the ring and on the other side of the ropes. And it's an unbelievable portrayal that should have got him the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, but it didn't. But that's what you expect to happen to Rocky Balboa just a tad bit short, reaching for it, but just not getting it. An unbelievable movie, and I can't wait for the sequel. I can tell the way you talk. You've been to school, you know, so I figure you got some brains. Why would you want to pick a fighter's life when you don't have to? If Apollo was around, he would tell you that too. He ain't around. I've been fighting my whole life. I ain't got a choice. At number two, and this caused a big stir in the office. I mean, we knew he came to blows over this. It's Rocky. You're thinking, what? Rocky's not number one? How could that be? Well, we had a rogue voter in the office, essentially. You can't explain it. It's democracy. Sometimes it's perfect. A lot of the times, imperfect. Rocky number two on our list. It is, of course, the iconic story. From the brain of Sylvester Stallone, that has really spawned an entire genre that had audiences on their feet as if they were at the fights itself because life is a fight. And Rocky Balboa showed that to us in a manner we have never seen before as movie fans and as boxing fans. It's as good now as it was then. I'm sorry, Lone Maniac in the office. I love you. It's number two on our list, and it's second to Raging Bull. If you're a boxing movie like Rocky and you're gonna be number two on the list, the only movie that can beat you is Raging Bull, and that's why. The great Martin Scorsese biopic of Jake LaMotta starring Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, Kathy Moriarty is number one on our list. A phenomenal look at the Unre nearly unredeemably flawed Jake LaMotta and his struggles through life, not only to win the championship, but just to get past everything that is Jake LaMotta and the ruin that it leaves his life in and the lives of his family members and everyone around him. An unbelievable movie and the only one that could top Rocky and it did on our list of best boxing movies of all time. So guys, what do you think? Did we nail it? Did we miss the mark? Did we overlook some movies altogether? Please let us know. Give us your feedback in the comments section. And if you haven't already subscribed and liked to this, get on it. Shame on you. We do this every day here at BoxCaster and tell the world about what we do and how well we do it at your home for the best news, features, information, opinions, 
all the Mishagas in the world when it comes to the sweet science, right here, Foxcaster, keep them up. <laughs>